Howdy howdy and welcome back here to another episode in Almas. We are now in the chilly month of December and we're also on episode 42 and on top of that this is the uh, final episode of our 14 days of Alma and we have got a lot done over the last two weeks and uh, we still have a couple of goals which actually I never talked about the goals for these uh, well the two weeks of Alma. The first goal which I don't think we're gonna do is, oh, let me just get through this wall here. There we go. Is gonna be buying all the lands that are required to complete the series. We could do it, but the second goal, which actually should be the first goal, is paying off all of our loans, being debt free. And I wanna do that one first, because that one just, that's just, it's an awesome feeling. So, what we're gonna do is, with our products still being pretty darn close to peak prices, we're gonna keep selling those. And also, I think we might have some clothes ready over at the other farm with our new productions. And also, now that we're in December, two of our crops, wheat and rye, are also pretty darn close to peak prices, so we're going to sell those. So let's get these loaded up, head over to the farm, and let's roll the intro. In the beautiful Missouri countryside lies a little town called Alma. Join me in this series as we make five million dollars and build the ultimate farm we're taking our shot and what you got we're going all the way to the top we will hear the sound of one million people screaming our names when we're backstage we'll play loud surfing the crowd everybody's jumping around yeah that's the place where i wanna be going on stage headline on We are getting closer and closer to completing all of the little check boxes for the five million dollar challenge. But right now we have an unexpected and surprise, well not totally surprise, but we have a visitor called Snow. I was really hoping it wouldn't come so fast, but it's here. And it's here to throw a party. A little white blanket party of just drowning up all of our joy so we can't do anything. Uh, but let's get in here because I want to get these two spawning so we can get those loaded into our truck, get some candles, make some money from that before this uh, joy quenching snow uh, ruins all of our plans. Let's see here, get this loaded up. Got the last one. There we go. All right, let's head up here to the. Uh, I, I keep wanting to call it a clothes factory, but that's not that's not what it is. It's not a clothes factory. But I keep wanting to call it that because it just, that's what they produce. You produce clothes, but it's a tailor shop. Well, I guess it also does stuffed animals, so. Okay, that makes more sense, I guess. Uh, but here, let's get this to spawning and spawning, spawning. Let's turn everything over to spawning. The only thing we have enough of right now is clothes. So let's get those spawned out because as we all know, Clothes actually make really good money, and we're gonna need that money because, as I mentioned, one of the goals here for the episode is I want to get the loan paid off. Um, so we can at least achieve one of the two goals we had for the uh, well, the two weeks of Alma. Um, yeah, I want to get at least one of those done. Now to do that, I think we need to get our bank account balance over two million dollars. I don't know if that's doable. I hope it is. This will help out, but it won't be a whole lot. Probably a couple hundred, maybe a hundred thousand. For lucky, maybe a little more than that. Um, but the big payday is going to come when we sell the the wheat and also the rye too. But I think the wheat because we had a whole lot of wheat. I mean, the field was huge. Um, so I'm really hoping that is where we make bank, and hopefully we can hit that two million dollar threshold so we can get our loan paid off but let's head into town here and get these sold and we have made it into town and we're gonna make a little pit stop here and swing by the bakery do a nice little white churn there and grab some of this bread so we can also get it sold as well Let me just uh, turn this on oops pull forward a little bit come on there we go all right so yes you got even more stuff to sell 
Speaking of more stuff to sell, I want to head down here to the popcorn factory. Let's see, do we have any? We have popcorn. Awesome. So let's get these loaded up as well, because hey, the more stuff we can sell, the better. Strap those down. All right, let's get turned around and let's start selling some of our products. All right, so most of the items do have their best price here. So we're gonna go ahead and sell pretty much everything here but the candles because it won't take candles here, but we have another sell point for those. All right. Ooh. Okay, so we did pretty darn good. $268,000, that is awesome to see. Um, yeah, we're. I think we're gonna make the $2 million. Um, so, ooh, you know what? Before we take the candles over to our other sale point, the new one, uh, let's head over here because I think we're gonna sell some of the flour because we do have a rather large surplus of flour. A lot more than the bakery can handle. So let's get all these loaded up here and get them sold as well. All right. Um, actually, I'm gonna head over here and let's change this over to distributing. There we go. Uh, so with, there's still, you know, 14,000 liters <laughs> to uh, produce. The bakery is pretty much filled up on flour. Um, so yeah, we have. We have loads and loads of flour, which is why we're going to sell 51,000 liters here because yeah, that's a huge amount, huge amount. So because we have a whole bunch of new products now with the, our Dragon's Den extension pack here, oh, I put it in a new sell point here. That's part of that pack. So let's get all of our candles sold here. It's kind of, uh, well, basically it's, it's our country store. Did some decorations around it, put some cars around it so it looks, you know, so it's part of the map. Uh, so yeah, there we go, got our candles sold. So let's head over here and let's get the flower sold. Actually, let's check and see where the best price is. And it's the diner. Okay. Actually, diner or pizzeria. Huh. You know what? We're gonna do a thing. I know this kind of might hurt us in making two or two million dollar thing, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna sell it over at the pizzeria, and this might be, I don't know. This, I mean, it's kind of built into the game. Base game does allows you to do this, so is it really cheating? They designed it this way? I don't know. What we're gonna do is we just sold all of the flour to the pizzeria. I want some pizza and ooh, almost tipped over there <laughs> uh, and then we're going to come over here and we're going to buy it because um, we just yeah use the money we just uh, got from selling to buy it all right forty thousand dollars not bad oh there's a tailor but we'll we'll get that later I don't want to spend any more money right now just because well yeah we uh we just spent a bunch and we're trying to get to that $2 million threshold so we can pay off for a loan. Actually, let's head down here to the productions because I want to make sure where is the pizzeria? All right, here it is. So ketchup, cheese, pineapple, and flour. Um, oh, we do have pineapples. We don't have cheese or ketchup. So we have some more productions to get. <laughs> we need our cows to start producing dairy. Now, produce that dairy. All right, went ahead and grabbed the rest of the flour here. So let's get this uh, sold real quick. Won't be a whole lot of money, but it will help out a lot, actually. All right, let's see here. It's going to be ooh, pretty good, actually. Almost $20,000, $19,000. That's about half the cost of the pizzeria. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's head back over to the farm because we want to get into our semi and start hauling the wheat and the rice so we can get it sold. All right, back over at the farm and we're going to start with the wheat. We have 510,000 liters and given the prices, yeah, I say our odds of breaking $2 million is going to be exponentially high. 
uh, especially though we have the BGA also running in the background, periodically selling stuff at the turn of every hour. And we have 142,000 liters of rye as well. Soybeans, not really too concerned about those because the best price for those is not till well, late spring, early summer. So they can just sit and it doesn't really matter right now. All right, there's 120,000. So let's get the uh, back here loaded up and then we're gonna head into town and hopefully start making some money. All right, and I am just pulling around here the backside of the co-op. And so we can get this unloaded here. Just, uh, oh, almost a late turn there. Almost, almost. Oh, and then I hit the building. Nothing happened, nothing to see there. Nobody saw it, nothing happened. All right, here we are. Okay, so let me get that and, uh, um, there we go. I'd switch it to the front one. So let's get that unloaded. And then uh, we're gonna have to head back to the farm to grab a little load. We are back here at the farm and I got the front one all loaded up with wheat and I think that the back one, let's go ahead and start transporting the rye. Get this loaded up and then uh, we'll head back into town and get this loaded into the co-op and maybe start loading the train because we already have quite a bit there. We're about ready to have a whole bunch more. And back here at the co-op. And given the train can sometimes take a little bit of time, let's uh, go ahead and rent that. $1,000 per hour. Ugh. Well, that's fine. We're gonna make a bunch of money off of it. All right, uh, let's uh, head around here, go wide, make the turn, and get this wheat and rye without running into the shed this time. I mean, nothing happened last time, nothing at all. <laughs> but let's uh, get this loaded into the co-op so uh, we are ready to go once the train gets here. And there it is, the big train. So let's hop in here. So what I'm going to do is start with the first one here. And brakes. Whoops. Stop, 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 stop. Um, back up a little bit here. I forgot, uh, trains don't stop on a dime, do they? <laughs> Alright, let's start with the rye. Let's get that loaded in here. I may have just kind of done this wrong. I don't know. But let's see how much will fit in one of these. Um, I don't think the 120,000 is going to all fit looking at that. No, it's not. Um, 90,000? Yep, yeah, 90,000. Okay, all right. So we got 90,000 liters of rye. Then what's uh, that right about there should do it. Let's uh, I guess switch to that. There we go. All right, what's. Oh, I'm still moving. Brakes. <laughs> Need a knee brake. <laughs> or put it in park or something. All right, where's the wheat? Oh boy, there's lots of stuff here. Um, let's keep going, keep going, keep going. I think I went the wrong way. Oh, there it is. Okay, wheat. All right, so we'll put the wheat in this and the back one, and then uh, that will not be all of it. So we're definitely gonna have to rent the train again. It's gonna be multiple train trips, which is good. That means we're gonna make lots of money. Uh, let's get this loaded up here and then uh, we'll run it down and get it sold. So we got 90,000 liters of rye and 210,000 liters of wheat on the train. And oh, look, there's, uh, well, that's going to be the field I hope we get soon. Um, there's our new farm over here on the left. You can kind of see it through the trees. Yeah, I love this map. I mean, it's, it just feels so real. I mean, yeah, so the bookie did an amazing job on that. And there's our farm there. Over there's our house. Yeah, I love this map. All right, let's see how much money we're going to make here. Come on, big bucks, big bucks. Uh, $416,000. Oh, we are so close to $2 million. So close. All right, let's head back to our truck and uh, get another load started. 
We are back here at the farm, and uh, I think we're going to start with, uh, we'll put the weed in. Uh, we probably won't fit all of it. I think we have 100 and, was it 150,000? Yeah, 150,000 liters of wheat left. Uh, so we'll get 120,000 here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the 30,000 here on the farm because, well, we got chickens. Chickens eat wheat. So we'll keep that 30,000 liters uh, for feeding them chickens. And then we'll grab the uh, rest of the Y. Whoa, y. <laughs> Head over to the Y. Let me see. Oh, anyways, uh, <laughs> I better not do that. I don't, don't want to get a copyright on that. Um, but let's get the rest of the rye loaded into the back and head over to the co-op and get it loaded into the trains. You know, I think I may have been taking the long way around. Maybe I'm going to go through here. This might be faster. Oh yeah, just cut through here. Cut it through. Cut through this little cell point, and then yeah, that's actually much faster than going all the way around the co-op. Yeah, I should have been. I should have been doing that the whole time. All right, so let's start with the rye. Actually, there we go. You know, I'm thinking about this wheat. You know what? We're not going to load this wheat onto the train. Uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this over to the, uh, oh yeah, our flower. Because um, I want to make sure the uh, the grain mill here has lots of, uh, has enough to keep processing. Because, um, yeah, we're making bread and we're going to be hopefully soon making pizza and you know, I want to make sure we have enough flour for all the stuff. So, I'm glad I thought about that. All right, there we go. That should be enough. All right, so let's head back over to the co-op and load up the uh, rest of the suite into there. And then uh, get that loaded into the train. And we got everything loaded up into the co-op. So, now we just need to load the train and come to a stop. Yes, there we go. Uh, 52,000. Yep, let's go ahead and get the rye loaded in there, and then hopefully the wheat will fit in the back, too. I actually don't know how much wheat we have in here. I didn't think about that. I think it's uh, 90,000 on these little things, and then I don't remember how much it was in the middle one. Oh, wait a second here. Oh. Can I find it? Wheat. You know what? It's going to work. <laughs> I didn't find it fast enough. And I forgot to come to a stop. Okay. There we go. Uh, all right. Let's go do it. So, wheat. Wait, wheat. Where are you? Wheat. All right. 195,000. Um, so, if this thing holds less than 105,000, it's not all going to fit. <laughs> I don't want to do a third trip, so if there's any extra, we'll probably just uh, take it over to the grain mill. Uh, let's see here. I think actually this will hold more. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. How much does it hold? 120? 120. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get it all in one trip. Awesome. All right. Stop. Stop. Okay. There we go. All right, let's get this loaded up. The last 75,000 liters with wheat. We, are, we already have our 52,000 liters of rye, so yeah, we're good to go. Let's see how much money we make from this. Let's see, based on the last one, I'm thinking we'll probably be somewhere around 2.3 million. Yeah. And yes, yeah, we have gone up since. <laughs> we did move over to a new hour and you know the, the bga profits uh get loaded in every hour so we actually are over the two million dollar mark which is awesome um yeah so that means we can probably pay off that loan here but let's see if uh if we can hit 2.3 maybe 2.4 let's find out just passing the farm here and getting close to find out are we going to make that 2.4 million or it's going to be 2.3 I don't know. Let's see here. Moment of truth. Let's find out. Yes, send it. All right, 349,000. Okay, so split the difference. 2.36 million dollars is where we're at. All right, that's actually amazing. So let's head back to our truck and then let's take a look at, uh, well, making a big loan payment. 
And we are back here at the truck. And you know what? Actually, let's take care of the loan now. So we own 1.59 million and plus a whole bunch of rounding since stuff. So we're going to uh, just go for the max here. So it says zero. It's not quite zero, but it's, it's pretty darn close. And once we roll over the next day, it will show as paid off. So that is pretty amazing. We are now debt free and we have 772,000 in the bank. So yeah, we are doing amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna head back to the farm and we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up here because actually the snow is gonna start sticking here pretty soon. Uh, but if you wanna keep watching uh, more farming sim content, uh, over here on the right is going to be a link over to our new series over on Bali Springs, the last episode we did. So be sure and go check that out, and that will be coming back now that we are all done with our two weeks of all. I hope to see you there, and hope you have a wonderful day. Good night.